Representing the Bay Area of Northern California here in the Shark Tank, it's the San Jose Sharks. The last game of the Stanley Cup Final. Hello, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. The last game. So what do you think about if you've got your equipment on, your stick in your hand, and you're about to go out? You're thinking about when you were probably somewhere this high here, Doc, and this is why you play. This is the ultimate to be able to be on the ice in the last possible game to be able to win the championship. And to me, this is what every player dreams about, and you have that opportunity right in front of you. The Sharks' regular season has given them the opportunity to play this last game at home in front of their fans. I'm a big believer that home ice advantage only matters in a deciding game. Let's look at the starting netminders. Game sevens are the thing of magic. Not a whole lot needs to be said by the coaches, by the players, or us. So let's just see here. Let's just see. Game sevens in the playoffs are the things of dreams. If he wants to keep the dream alive for himself and his team, he needs to be at his best. These two teams are ready to play, and we're ready to watch. Couture is the faceoff man for the Sharks. McDavid's opposite him for Toronto. He is slashed, and there'll be a penalty for that. Toronto's minor penalty is for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. San Jose's power play is activated for the first time tonight. Chasing the game is a losing proposition night after night. You get on the board first, you win way more than you lose. A power play can give you that advantage. Steps across that line. Save there. What next? Let's a shot fly. Lightning like reflexes there. Great glove save. Handled in the corner by Fowler. Leads that charge into the zone. Looking from behind the net. Let's it go. Great save. A little pass from his goalie here. Looking to Couture. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Oh, what a hit that one was. Works the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. Goudreau's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The squads are even. Four players aside. And the faceoff. The open ice leads to some great scoring chances four on four. You get a defenseman into the rush. If you don't score, the other team's guaranteed a two on one going back the other way. Pass up that right wing, and he's got it. The pass fails, and the puck leaves the zone. Maple Leafs with a win at center. Stood up there. Walking a thin line near the border there. Got it on his stick in the slot. He scores! Didn't take long. Crowd celebrates 1-0. San Jose's gotten the crowd into it early. And rightfully so. The energy they played with has been terrific. The Leafs win the draw. What's next? A shot. Got in the way of that one. Jones got the whistle and a rest. One minute, 47 seconds. They took that draw and won it. Couldn't do what he wanted. Passing one off now to Cole. 
That puck's loose. Good defense. Broke that play up at center. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. What a hit that was. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. Took that pass right up the wing. He takes that point pass. Great opportunity denied. In that defensive zone, an important play. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. A point blast. Not too difficult a shot to stop. Buck is thrown to McDavid. Cuts that pass off. Reads the play and keeps it. Smith's turnover is a dangerous play to make. When you have the lead, you have to be much more careful about where the puck goes on the ice. All right, now there's some misbehavior. I don't know if we're going to have to fill the penalty sheet here. Well, I hope so, Doc, because this game needs this jolt. The tone gets set early as these guys have some snarl. And it's over with one last resounding punch. But what did you think of it? I thought it was pretty even throughout. But at the end, certainly you have to give the nod to the big puncher. Oh, that was a grueling scrap. They're going to get a chance to rest for five minutes.